welcome back to Dollar Workout Club, you guys. We're so grateful you logged in. I hope you recovered a little bit from yesterday's Deadly 100 <laughs> workout. I know that my legs are killing me today. Thank you, Lynn. You're welcome. <laughs> today we have a really good cardio and core workout. And don't worry, it's not going to be as long as yesterday's workout. It's only 12 minutes. So if you're new to Dollar Workout Club, welcome. We're so glad to have you here. Uh, if you haven't noticed, we have a red, yellow, and green color-coordinated system. And that's because here at Dollar Workout Club, we believe anybody at any fitness level can do all of our workouts. If you're a beginner or if you're just getting into working out, you're going to want to follow whoever's wearing green. That's me today. If you are advanced and you're really in great shape, you're going to want to follow whoever's wearing red. And today that's Drew. And if you're somewhere in the middle, then you're going to want to follow the intermediate level, which today is Lynn. And that's the person who's always wearing yellow. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a minute to go through the four different movements today, and we're going to show you the modifications that how you'll do each exercise based on whatever level you pick. If you've been with Dollar Workout Club for a member and you're familiar with these exercises already, you can go ahead and fast forward to the warm up, and we put the time that the warm up starts in the text version next to the video. So we're doing four movements today. Lynn's going to show you the green and the yellow version, and Drew's going to show you the red while I explain the movements. The first thing we're doing is a burpee. So if you're green. Lynn's going to show you that you want to find either a chair, a counter ledge, something that you can rest your hands on. And then what you're going to do is step back, step forward, and reach up towards the sky. So you're not jumping, you're not having the high impact, but you're moving as quickly as possible. The idea is that you want to get your heart rate up. If you're yellow, you're going to use a same chair or ledge and you're going to jump back, jump forward, and reach up into the sky. Jump back, jump forward, and jump up. And then red is going to be doing the full version of the burpee where you put your chest all the way to the ground, jump up, and just like Drew is showing there, you go as quickly as possible. The faster you can kick your feet back, the more efficient you'll be with that movement. The next thing we're doing is a plank. So Lynn's going to show you the green version. You're going to want to stand next to a wall. Now there's two different ways you can do this movement to make it a little bit more challenging. The harder movement is if you put your forearms on the wall, you'd step out about two feet from the wall, step up on your toes, and you just hold that plank in that position so you feel um, a nice, strong movement in your core, keeping your core really tight. If you want to make it a little bit easier, you can go on your hands, and that way you're not, your body's not as at steep as at, <laughs> as at <laughs> steep of an angle. Thank That's you, Lynn. I got tongue tied that. there. And, but you're still holding that movement and still contracting your core. Now at the yellow and red, you're going to be doing the same motion, except red's going to be on their toes and yellow's going to be on their knees. You're putting the weight on your elbows and on your forearms, and you're just keeping a perfectly flat back. Now as the minute goes on, because you're going to be holding this position for a full minute, a lot of times we have a natural tendency to want to either stick our butt in the air, like Drew's showing you here, and Lynn is too, or sag your butt down towards the ground. I don't want to see that. I want you to keep a nice, strong back. The best way to do that is to flex your stomach muscles and kind of squeeze your glutes together at the same time. The third movement we're doing are mountain climbers. So at the green level, again, you want to find a, a counter, a chair, and then what you're going to do is similar to a burpee, but you're just going to step back and step forward, just like that. The faster you move your feet, the harder the movement will be. At the yellow version, you're stepping back, and the red is the same. You're just switching your feet back and forth, like just like they're showing you here. The only difference is that yellow has their hands elevated to make it a little bit easier. I think mountain climbers are so hard. Personally, that I think those are harder than burpees. They are really a challenge for me. So uh, the next, the last movement we're doing is sunrise sunset. So Lynn's going to show you the green version. What you're going to do is lie down on the ground with your knees bent, your hands above your head, and you're going to reach up and tap your knees, put your shoulders back on the ground, and then lift your feet up. So you're doing that double motion. And when you're counting these, uh, you're going to count one, two. Three. So each movement with your leg and your hands are one count, which we're doing it for a minute, so it doesn't really matter, but that way if you want to know how many you're getting in within that minute. Then uh, Lynn and Drew are going to show you for yellow and red. It's basically the same movement. The only difference is that yellow is going to rest their feet on the ground in between each lift, and red might be going a little bit faster. Now you want to try and keep your legs as straight as possible, but with this movement, it's really hard. I know I'm not very flexible, so my knees tend to bend like Lynn's are here too. And if yours are doing that at home, that's all right. So those are the four different movements we're going to do today. Um, Lynn and I are going to get started with the warm-up with jumping jacks. I want you guys to follow along at home with us while we listen to Drew explain the structure of how today's workout is going to go. All right, you guys. Today we Whoops. are <laughs> doing uh, three rounds, okay? And each round is four minutes long. So we're doing one minute of burpees, straight into one minute of plank, straight into one minute of mountain climbers, straight into one minute of the sunrise sunsets. That's one round, okay, that's four total minutes. We're doing that three times total, so it's 12 minutes total. So, 
It's, if you get lost, all of it will be on the screen for you to follow along or just follow the, the person that you're following today's workout. It uh, will all be going at the same pace pretty much and switching moves at the same time. Let's make sure and go ahead and get warmed up though before we start today's workout with some self hugs. <sighs> make sure we're nice and warm. I love doing self hugs. It's going to be a hard one. Yeah, these it's just really good. stretch your arms and your chest out really, really well. Yeah. And it's always nice to get a hug. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Self love. Love Let's yourself. Do some butt kickers here. The green level, you're just going to step <clears throat> and kick your butt like this. Remember, on these warm-ups, the faster you can go, the better it's going to be because it's going to get your heart rate up and get your body nice and loose and prepared for today's workout. All right, one more time through. Some more jumping right. jacks. So if you notice, at the green level, we never do anything that's high impact. So you'll never see us, um, you know, we'll modify everything so you're not jumping and you're not putting a lot of pressure on your knees. So the key at the green level is to do the movement as quick as you can so that you can still bring your heart rate up without putting that pressure on your joints. Mm. All right, self hugs. <sighs> today's, go, workout, today's workout is deceiving because it's one of those workouts that might look easy on paper. It's and not. I know by the time the 12 minutes is up, we're gonna be sweating. Yeah. All four of these movements are tough movements. None of them are, it's not like one of the minutes is gonna be easy, you know, yeah. they're all hard. And we don't get any break. I mean, you yeah. take a break only if and when you need to to grab a quick sip of water and jump right back into it. So this is pretty deceiving. We'll all be hurting by the end. Yeah. 60 seconds in this workout is the longest 60 seconds of your life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. For each move. All right, guys, make sure you have your chair ready. We don't need any weights for today's workout, and we're going to go ahead and get started in just a second. Okay. All right, guys, go ahead and get into your position for burpees. We're going to get started in two, one, go for one minute. Now, remember, because we're going for a full minute, you don't want to do a full-out sprint right here. You want to try to keep a good and steady pace that you think you could try to keep consistent for that whole minute, which I know is tough, especially when doing a tough, high-intensity move like burpees. So do the best you can. Breathe. Focus on good form, keeping that core in tight throughout this movement. And remember, we talked about this in yesterday's workout. This isn't a race against me, Lynn, or Drew. This is a workout where you're competing against yourself. So if you can't go as fast as a person at your color that you're following, don't get discouraged. Be excited that you're not giving up and that you're pushing yourself and challenging yourself and that you know you can only go up from here. We're almost there, you guys. Three, Three two, one. Let's go into a plank. Now, we don't have any transition time, so you want to try to get into that position and start right away because we're already losing a few seconds just moving from movement to movement. Your heart rate is probably elevated from those burpees, so make sure that while you're, you're in that plank position that you have controlled deep breaths. We don't want you to get lightheaded. And so the best thing you can do is take deep breaths in and out and control that breathing. We're halfway through the plank movement and then we're gonna go into mountain climbers. Make sure you focus on good form here, you guys. <clears throat> you want to have your back flat, your butt down, your core tight, like Natalie said. I think of squeezing those muscles. I always like to think there's a string attached to my belly button and it's being pulled back towards my spine. That's how you want to be squeezing and contracting your core right now. Only 10 more seconds left, you guys. Come on, you can do it. Don't give Stay up, strong. don't give up. Five seconds. Push Transitioning through the pain. to mountain climbers as quickly as you Two, can, though. One. Oh. Mountain climbers, quick transitions. Quick, here quick, quick. Here we go, here we go. All right. Try to keep a consistent pace. This is a really hard movement, like Natalie said. A lot of times, when doing them for a prolonged period of time, you may think they're even harder than burpees. For me, I think that's because you're really not giving your shoulders any sort of break. So you might be feeling it in your shoulders right about now. Now you guys, this is also a really good workout that you might be able to switch between colors. You may feel like you can do burpees at the green level, but plank maybe at the yellow level or vice versa. So challenge yourself, really push yourself. And if something doesn't feel hard, maybe try going up in that exercise next round. Ooh, I can tell 
Drew, that's such a tough movement. Oh. I don't envy you right now. You can see that I'm taking a tiny break here and there. Keep good form, you guys. We're Three, almost there. Two, one, sunrise, uh, sunset. Okay. Quick transitions. Here we go. A full minute. This is gonna burn our core, you guys. Good job, you guys. But we're almost down. Done with one round. Now, at the green level, a lot of times it can take a couple seconds. It can take a little bit to move from being on the ground to standing. So don't worry if it takes you part of a minute to transition. That's totally fine. Just jump into it as fast as you can once you get onto the ground. Make sure that you're breathing as you do this movement. So many of our clients hold their breath while they do our work. And that's really not good. You can get really lightheaded doing that. We're more than halfway through, you guys. Keep breathing. Keep good form. You can see that my knees are slightly bent. I'm not quite as flexible in my hamstrings, that's why. But I'm reaching up as high as I can go with each move. Five, four, three, two, one. Burpees. Okay, quick One round down. Two more to go, you guys. We got this. All right, good job. Consistent, steady pace for this full minute, keeping your core tight. And remember, for green and yellow, the further you either step or jump your feet back, the harder you can make this movement for yourself. Remember, if you're green, we're not jumping, so it's important that you do a little calf raise at the top. So you're still getting that movement. You're still working that different body part. Whew. Nice job, you guys. We're almost there. About 20 uh, seconds left. A burpee is one of the exercises that burns the most calories in a short period of time because you're working so many different muscle groups. You're working your shoulders, your core. You feel it in your chest when you push yourself yeah. back up. Your quads, your glutes. It's tough. Uh, and switch to plank. Uh, quick transitions. Uh, quick, quick. Oh, good job, guys. We're almost halfway through this entire workout. A lot of times when people do plank, my clients will ask me, is it normal? I'm shaking. <laughs> and yeah, that's normal. As we're keeping that core contracted, as we're focusing on good form, those muscles are pretty fatigued, especially by round two. So if you feel like your body's shaking a little bit, that's normal. Keep squeezing. The plank is one position. of those movements that the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. So if it's really hard for you to hold even for 10 seconds right now, don't feel discouraged because the more you practice it, you really will notice that your abdominal muscles get so much stronger. Find and a happy strong, place. Find your happy place. 15 seconds. A strong core will help you in so many other, not only exercises that we do at Dollar Workout Club, but just everyday life. It'll help you with your posture. It'll help you with back pain. Three. Two, one, mountain oh. climbers. Quick, quick, quick uh. transitions, oh. fast. Quick transitions, you guys. Here we go, here we go. Oh. We got this. Your shoulders on fire. Yeah, we have like three shoulder moves in a row. <sighs> killer. Keep going. Really challenge yourself here, you guys. I know you're tired. By round two, you're thinking, 12 minute workout seems so easy, but I'm only six and a half minutes in, and I'm dying. But you got this, you guys. Keep that pace up. You may need to stop occasionally like Drew is and take a breather. That's perfectly fine. I know when I do mountain climbers, I always have to oh. do that. They're, I'm oh. telling you, I think mountain climbers are the hardest cardio exercise. Oh. I have a love-hate relationship with them. Keep trying to move, even if it's at a slow pace. Keep up that pace, you guys. 10 seconds. We're more than halfway through our whole workout. <sighs> Five seconds, come on, push hard. We're gonna go into plant, or sunrise sunset after this. Uh -oh. And go. All right. Hey, quick, make sure that you guys, uh -oh. if you have to turn this slowly onto the ground, that's okay. Move as quick as you can, and then just get going right away. Get onto the ground. Reach up towards those toes, you guys. High reach, at a minimum, your shoulder blades should be off the ground. But the higher you reach, the more benefit you're gonna get out of this move. Both your upper and lower abdominals are getting worked in this movement. Halfway through the sunrise sunsets, you guys, and then we're two thirds of the way through the entire workout. So after this, we only have one more round of each exercise. Remember, Ooh. we're gonna go into burpees after this. Last round, best round though, you guys. This is where you're gonna see the most improvement. 
You'll dig deep and really push harder than you have any other round. You'll get the most benefit. Five seconds. Oh, three, two, don't give up. Keep going. One, and switch into uh, burpees. burpees. Quick transition, you guys. Try to get up as fast as you can. Let's do this. Last time you're doing burpees. You guys, it's really easy to want to slow down or to give up on this last round, but so much research and studies have shown that you see the greatest, not only cardiovascular benefit, but also strength, growth in your muscles and calorie burn when you really, really push hard when your muscles and your body is fatigued and you want to give up. That's where you're going to see the biggest results is when you push through that desire to quit or that desire to slow down. Not only are we making our bodies stronger right now, but you're making your mind stronger too. Almost there, you guys. Come on. Last 10, 10 seconds. seconds of burpees. Don't give up. Remember, we're going to go into plank after this. Five. Here's your last burpee. Three. Don't give up. Two. One. And plank. Oh. Oh, nice job, you guys. Here we go. Oh. Oh. If you're not winded, then you're definitely not doing a hard enough level. So I challenge you to move up a level if you haven't felt like this is difficult yet. Finish off strong. Really push yourself for these last couple of minutes. We're in the final stretch. Remember, if you're green and this is really hard for you, you can move on to your hands so that you're not as, 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 as I can't get say that word combo apparently today. <laughs> you're not as a steep of a angle. Oh, 20 seconds left, guys. Breathe through it, you guys. Deep breath. Remember, we're gonna go into mountain climbers after this. We only have two minutes of exercise after this oh. plank is done. Ooh, 10 seconds. Bring it through, I know it hurts you guys. Hold it, hold it, keep that back flat, keep that back flat. Three, two, oh. one, mountain oh. climbers. Oh. Good job, you guys. Shake oh. your arms out, your shoulders should really be hurting right now. Nice job, you guys, you got this. Two more minutes of work. Here we go. We're almost done. Now remember, with this movement, the faster you move and transition your feet, the more calories you're going to burn and the harder this exercise is going to be. So I really, really challenge you to have quick movements, quick cadence. Try and get as many steps in as you can. Nice job, you guys. Also, the further you step or jump your feet back, the harder this move is. If you do little moves like you see here, not that hard. But if you're really pushing those feet back and forward, you're getting a really good benefit here. Don't jip yourself. Every rep counts. All right, 10 seconds, guys. Oh. After this, we're going to go into our last oh. minute of sunrise sunset. Really push hard. This. Don't give up. Be mentally strong. Two, one, oh. sunrise sunset. Oh. Here we go. All right. Right, you guys keep working. It's sure. just you versus you. We're not faking it. <laughs> we are hurting right along with you. Oh, this isn't fake sweat. All right. <laughs> can't I know. Push, you can't we don't have somebody this. hit paws on her and spray water bottles on us. <laughs> our assistant sprayers. <laughs> no, we, we, are, we are our own assistants. We have assistants here. <sighs> All right. So what I'm going to do is take a second, grab a drink of water, and then we're going to do a hip flexor stretch. So you're going to get into position, just like you see the three of us doing here. What you're going to do is get one knee in front of you and you're going to kind of push 
against that knee while you lean back at the same time and you should feel a really good stretch in your hip flexor right here in your quad. And if you're just sitting here like this, you're not doing yourself any favors. You really wanna push until, it, just until it starts to feel a little bit uncomfortable right here in this area. That's how you know you're stretching properly is when it shouldn't be painful, but it should be slightly uncomfortable. And again, make sure you're having deep, controlled breaths. Just like that, because yeah. part of the reason we put cool downs in our workout is not only to stretch those muscles and get that lactic acid out, but also to help get your breathing under control before you resume your normal everyday activities. Yeah, I'm trying to drive this hip forward as far as you can. You'll feel a nice deep stretch right here. For me, I have a deep, when I do this, I get a deep stretch all the way down to my knee because it stretches your IT band, which goes all the way down to your knee. Sometimes I have slight knee pain and it's not from my knee, it's actually from having a tight hip flexor. So this is a really good move to do, especially if you sit a lot at a desk. Yep. Okay. Okay, oh. guys, slowly roll out of that position and sit on your behind. Oh. We're gonna just put one leg in front of you. We're gonna cross the other leg over and I kind of wiggle my foot up as close to my butt as possible. And then you're going to take your arm and pull that knee into your chest. So you should feel, again, a really, really good stretch here in your glute. And it's important to really use your arms to pull that leg into your chest. And I kind of, <laughs> I don't know what the word is, wiggle my foot up to, so I can get it as far back as possible. You're probably still breathing really hard, as you can hear. Lynn, Drew, and I, we're still having trouble breathing. That's normal. Yeah, oh. you're probably sweating a little bit more afterwards. That's a strong afterburn. These stretches are really good because uh, if you did yesterday's Deadly 100, your legs are probably really sore. Oh. I know mine are from doing that workout yeah. yesterday. And these are good exercises to help continue to stretch your body from yesterday's moves. Oh, finally got my breath back. All right. Let's go into the cobra stretch. What you're gonna do is lay on your stomach with your hands in front of you, kind of in a push-up spot. And then you're gonna lift your torso up off the ground until you feel a really good stretch in your core. Now, if you're a beginner, you may only be able to go like this or just barely push yourself off, but you wanna push as far as you can so you're getting a really good stretch in your lower back and your core. These are fun exercises that your kids can do with you too. And your kids can do the whole workout with you. But I know my kids always love to join in on the stretches. They think it's really fun. Especially when you tell them it's a cobra move. Oh. Oh. Slowly oh. roll your body out of this position. Oh, man. Oh. I hope you guys enjoyed today's oh. workout. Good job. I hope you'll continue to stay around and watch the quick rest video and motivation video. In our opinion, we think that those are probably more valuable than even the workouts I'm part of Dollar Workout Club. We feel like that's kind of what sets what? us apart from other workout programs out there. We love you guys. We appreciate you so much. If you don't follow us on social media, I hope you'll take a second to find us on Facebook and Instagram. We do post full workouts once a week that you can share with your friends and family. And we hope that you'll let them know how much you appreciate Dollar Workout Club and help us continue to grow. We love you guys. We appreciate you. We're so glad you logged in today, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. See you guys. Manly, positive affirmations. <laughs> now, as a man, we don't like to do womanly things, um, but I'm gonna talk to you guys about manly, positive affirmations and why they're life-changing and why they're so important and why I, as a man who lift weights and eat meat, do my positive affirmations every single day. I'm 35 years old, you guys, and I've never really done positive affirmations until this past year, and here's why it's made such a difference in my life. There's been studies that show uh, the power of words on cells, and this is to living things like plants. Um, there's been studies where they show one 
uh, plant that uh, kids say mean things to, negative words, and then one plant where kids say nice things or positive words to that plant. And there's a difference in the plant that has negative things said to it dies, whereas the one that uh, has positive things said to it lives and, and thrives and, and uh, flourishes. But anyways, um, there is power in words, you guys, on a, on a cellular level. And as men, we tend to beat ourselves up a lot. We're harder on ourselves and we hide things. We don't express our feelings and emotions very well. Here's the positive affirma affirmations I say to myself every single day that have made a difference in my life. I look in the mirror and say, I'm a good man. I look in the mirror and say, I'm a good father. I look in the mirror and say, I love myself, I love my body, and I will be happy today. Those five things right there, you guys, I say a lot more now, but that's what I started with every single day, just two to three times repeating that to myself while I'm looking at myself in the mirror has made such a big difference on how I view myself because I'm a better me if I love who I am on the inside. I'm not just my body, I'm not just my six pack because all that can go away any moment, you guys. So you have to love who you are as a man on the inside and that's what it means to be a man uh, in my opinion is because you can better love your kids, your spouse, your friends, um, your coworkers if you love yourself first uh, because hurt people hurt people. And uh, that's, that's truth, you guys. So try these positive affirmations, just those five that I mentioned, you guys. Try for 30 days, see how you feel. I mean, I'm not saying it's gonna give you a six pack and you're gonna be all lovey-dovey and start hugging trees now, but you'll be a better man because of it, I promise you. What's up, y'all? Thank you so much for being a part of Dollar Workout Club. We really love you guys here. Don't forget to follow us on social media at the handles below. And the best way to get in touch with us is to leave a comment in the section below, in the comment section below. We read all the comments and that's the best way to get a response or an answer from us. Yeah, and don't forget the hashtags, you guys. Hashtag Dollar Workout Club, hashtag DWC Recipes when you try the recipe of the day, hashtag DWC Workouts when hashtag, we're killing hashtag. it. Hashtag, hashtag. <laughs> Let's do this. Hashtag no, we really, we love you guys. We can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. See ya. Bye.